Talent identification in soccer is the complex process of recognizing and selecting players that have the greatest potential to excel in the future. In practice, talented players are often identified by talent scouts. These scouts typically play an important role in the initial phases of a club's talent identification process. Scouts mainly observe and assess players who are not yet recruited by elite soccer academies in soccer trials or games. Based on observations of current soccer performance, they make predictions of players' future performance to advise on selection decisions. In this sense, the task of a scout differs from that of a coach, who is typically involved in long-term player development processes. Method We recruited professional and part-time scouts from professional soccer clubs and scouts associated with the Royal Dutch Football Association. First, heads of scouting of 10 different clubs in the Dutch Eredivisie were approached, of which four distributed a digital questionnaire to their organization's scouts. These scouts are responsible for identifying players for the club's developmental academy or first team. Second, for scouting coordinators of the Dutch Association were approached and agreed to distribute the questionnaire to their regional scouts. These regional scouts are responsible for identifying players for the Youth Plan Netherlands program, which is a platform which targets talented youth players from under U11 to U17 who have not yet been recruited by a professional soccer cl club. A total of 125 scouts responded and completed the questionnaire. Scouts were on average 58, 2 years old and had 11, 2 years of experience. The table presents the different questions and response scales per section of the questionnaire. In the first section scouts were asked at what age can you reliably predict if a player has the potential to participate in professional soccer. The second section consisted of two questions asking scouts about the information they take into account when predicting performance. Finally, the third section contained five statements focusing on the extent to which scouts predict performance in a structured manner. Results Scouts' perceptions of predicting future performance The figure presents scouts' answers on the age at which they can predict if a player has the potential to participate in professional soccer. The findings are stratified according to the age cohort in which each scout typically observed players. The results show that the average age at which scouts perceived they could predict future performance increased depending on the age cohort they observed players in. More specifically, scouts who typically observed U12 and younger players perceived, on average, that they could reliably predict a player's future performance at 13, 6 years old. For scouts who observed U13, U15 players this was 14, 2 years old. For scouts who observed U16, U18 year old players this was 15 years old. And for scouts who observed adult players this was 16, 8 years old. Interestingly, most of the scouts observed players in the U12 and younger cohort. Thus, the largest group of scouts perceived they could predict future performance for players that were older than the players they typically observed in practice. Attributes relevant for future performance The attributes that scouts considered predictive of future performance were very similar across age cohorts. Therefore, we present results for the total sample here. The table presents the frequency with which each attribute was mentioned and the number of times each attribute was considered to be most predictive of future performance, grouped by performance category. The scouts mentioned a wide variety of attributes, after grouping similar answers together, a total of 59 attributes were identified. The nine most frequently named attributes were technical skills or technique with the ball, game sense and awareness, physiological or motor skills, sprinting speed, winning mindset or mentality, drive or intrinsic motivation, ball control, speed of handling and physical attributes. Thus, scouts provided both general, non-specific attributes and more specific attributes. Concerning the general performance categories, scouts mainly considered attributes in the technical performance category as predictors of future performance. A total of 163 answers belong to this category. This was followed by 132 answers that belong to the tactical and perceptual cognitive skills, 128 to physical, physiological, and motor skills, 124 to personality-related and mental skills, and 47 to the miscellaneous category. 
Moreover, 46 of the 125 scouts ranked an attribute in the technical category as the most important predictor, followed by a tactical and perceptual cognitive skill, a physical, physiological, and motor skill, a personality-related and mental skill, and a miscellaneous attribute. Thus, a technical skill was mentioned most often as the most important predictor. Tactical and perceptual cognitive skills, physical, physiological, and motor skills and personality-related or mental skills were roughly equally distributed as the most important among the remaining scouts, and a small minority mentioned a miscellaneous attribute as most predictive. Scoring and combining information. The figure presents the response percentages to the statements on the different aspects of structure in scouts' talent identification process. Overall, the scouts indicated that they applied a very structured process when observing players. Approximately 74% of the scouts indicated that they always or very frequently evaluated different players of the same age and playing position, on the same attributes, and 73% indicated that they already knew which attributes they would evaluate before they observed a player. Moreover, 69% of the scouts indicated to always or very frequently evaluate different attributes separately, when observing a player. Although the scouts seemed to apply a structured approach in defining and evaluating separate skills and abilities, they mainly used their overall impression of the player's attributes to form their final prediction, as 68% always or very frequently took this approach. Accordingly, a minority of 41% always or very frequently summed the independently evaluated attributes to form their final prediction.